Sir, uh, on behalf of my party, I stand here to support the union budget, sir. The intent of the budget is aimed at driving India's economic growth and progress. The budget has introduced a framework with nine priorities, sir, which seems to be the developing priorities of the country. An important focus of the budget is simplification and rationalization of the tax service, sir, which means ease of doing business in the country in various sectors, which is the need of the other, sir. Women, youth, farmers, they have been given a future in this nation, sir. At the same time, confidence level to the people of India have been given on the infrastructure of the country. Women, we say if a boy is educated, we get an educated man. But if a girl is educated, we get an educated family. So the budget gives women skill development, hostile creatures, market access for self-help groups. Sir, it is laudable that rupees 3 lakh crore shows the commitment of the government to women-led development. When it comes to the youth of the country, the youth today consists of a large population waiting to be tapped properly in this country. I welcome the announcement to increase the amount of educational loans and skill development loans to the youth, especially internship scheme for one crore young men and women will go a long way to meet their hopes and aspirations. But I would like to again say that the backbone of the country, the nation, are the farmers. Farmers provide us food every day. There has been a special place in the NDA government in successive budgets for the farmers. This is to encourage farmers. On the budget, one crore farmers are going to take up natural farming. That means, sir, we will get a healthy and natural, nutritious food free from chemical addition. The various initiatives, sir, like augmenting vegetable production and chain digital surveys of agricultural process at an estimated allocation of more than one and a half lakh crore rupee shows continued encouragement to farmers. Lastly, sir, when I come to the infrastructure, ever since the NDA government under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister came to power the center, investments in infrastructure have witnessed a big push. This year also, the allocation is 11.11 .11 lakh crore for infrastructure development is commendable, especially for agriculture produced to reach the markets and for our industries to function efficiently. Capacity augmentation, infrastructure facilities like road, ports, and highways is the need of uh, the hour. The assurance of viability gap funding for private investments in infrastructure, I would say, is a step for promoting economic development. Finally, sir, while appreciating the finance minister for bringing out the schemes and programs which are for the benefit of the country as a whole without regional discrimination. I would also request that, sir, this is the third time successful NDA government getting the people support in the country has shown a roadmap for the country's future. I thank the prime minister, the finance minister, and the central government for giving hope to the countrymen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vasanji. Manisri V.